What is going on guys, my name is AK back again with another YouTube video and in today's video I'll be running you through some attack and defense strats on Raid S&D so hopefully you guys find this helpful. Now I was waiting to do this video for a while but uh, the attack map software uh, hadn't actually updated yet and uh, we didn't have Raid in the uh, in the map pool then uh, but it's now updated with the new one that's come out on Windows so uh, yeah we've now got uh, we've now got Raid and there's a few new features uh, so yeah it should be quite cool. But if you don't want to check out the software, uh, there'll be a link in the description if you want to go grab it for yourself. Really cool uh, if you play with a team uh, just to show them strats and uh, and sort of to go over things uh, um, after or before games. So if you want to get that, link in the description. Well, that's said and done, let's jump into today's video. If you've seen these videos before, you know I tend to do two attack and two defense strats on each map. So uh, I think we should jump straight into that. So the first one, uh, we're going to be talking an attack strat. And it's actually pushing towards B. Now, B is the uh, sort of the more commonly pushed bomb site. Most people uh, do tend to go B if they go uh, on this map. So uh, I guess one good strat we uh, we like to do is we have one person push up uh, the bottom so they can set up on the uh, on the, on top of the, the mid uh, circle statue bit, I guess, kind of. Uh, and then we have another person push up and they essentially uh, stay in the bottom bit, uh, like... Um, where, where the where the steps are essentially just on the steps uh, and they watch the front side uh, for instance they watch if anyone pushes uh, top laundry or or the back the back spot there essentially they just play the information there play it quite safe uh, normally these are sub players that push up um, uh, because you want your ARs a bit further back Without, uh, we normally send one person up to the uh, the top the top room up here. Uh, now these also uh, can watch um, top bedroom and uh, and the push here. So essentially, anything that pushes down this front way from their side spawn, if any of these players push down here uh, or to the top or even to the outside, uh, if player three uh, wants to rotate, they can watch the sort of outside push um, that, uh, that they can do there. Uh, you should be able to get uh, essentially the push down to B bomb all locked down. Player four in the middle here um, actually is able to watch the mid. So if they also push um, through mid this way, or if they push up the mid steps, player four can actually see them. Maybe not necessarily kill them, but certainly get the information. Uh, this is normally what I do. I play this with uh, an AK-74U, so you don't need a long-range weapon. If you wanted to play it with a Krieg or an XM4, that would work well as well. And lastly, uh, we have our other player. Now they can have uh, sort of any weapon really. I guess an AR is probably best. Uh, and essentially their job is to uh, to watch mid. So if anyone pushes kitchen off the start, um, be careful. If the other team are using snipers, maybe you don't want to challenge it. You just just play a tight angle, sort of uh, this side of the wall. Just sort of sit and watch, sit and watch this way. I mean, they do have the mid push up to the pillars watched anyway. Uh, but maybe just uh, to help if they push up the steps or something like that. But essentially their job is if nothing, if they don't actually see anything, uh, their job is to, to sort of wrap back the spawn. Because uh, if, if an enemy does push the A side, uh, maybe they go sit in the hut watch the push if they don't see anything chances are uh, they're going to want to try and push around the back and so this player can um, head around to watch the back and then this player uh, is then in charge of watching the mid push um, from sort of the back the back of this room essentially so once you're in that position, uh, if you if you can get set up like this and, uh, and you haven't seen anyone or maybe you've got a few kills and, uh, and you've sort of been able to push up the map a bit, uh, essentially you're going to want to try and get the bomb down uh, for top laundry or certainly for a spot that it can be watched from top laundry. Um, so I, don't, I can't think of a bomb spot specifically, but um, yeah, you're going to want to then get one player to plant and then have two players push up to this side. So having a setup where you've got players on both sides of the map uh, essentially helps with uh, having them not being able to um, actually clutch the round uh, simply because even if they kill out this side there's still a player that can watch the bomb from this side or if they push through there's still players that can watch the bomb from this side so getting a nice split uh, if you have two if you have all four players alive that is a uh, uh, it's going to be very helpful but even if you've got maybe one player alive on one side two on the other or one each um, normally in SD you don't want to split up but if you've got the bomb down uh, playing two sort of separate corners of the map uh, can work quite well hopefully you like this strat uh, give it a try and let me know how it goes now another strat uh, is going to be for A. Now A is the sort of uh, the bomb site that less people go to, and if they do plant A, it's usually not right at the start of the round. Um, but uh, what we tend to do if we do go A uh, is we send one person to the top bedroom. Uh, you do need top bedroom control uh, for watching over A, and it's also a very big power position if you've actually got A planted. Um, what uh, for being able to essentially sit in the top corner of top bedroom uh, and just watch your flank. Uh, the only place that they can push is up the, the steps to get to top bedroom. Uh, as long as you don't break the glass, that is, because they can actually jump up the front and, uh, and get through. But if they if they don't break the glass, you'll be able to hear them, uh, hear them if they do that. But essentially, you can just sit in the top bedroom and then check the bomb uh, as and when you need to. Uh, and then you send one person down the bottom as well. They can head glitch again, uh, watch the push. And then normally uh, we'll send two people mid uh, because chances are someone is going to be uh, mid sort of uh, in, in this side or uh, maybe pushing out mid uh, either side. So if you've got two people there, you can make sure you can pick that up or at least get the trade if not. But again, we're going to try and play uh, sort of a, a split a split play. So um, if these players can, they need to push up mid uh, and try and get through to the other side. Now, I would say have one of these players turn halfway through uh, and watch the pinch because if someone has gone uh, through to B and they don't see anything there, chances are they might come try push through pillars. So if player three can turn or whatever player that happens to be, turn and watch the mid, just uh, communicate with your team, say, oh yeah, check mid, something like that, uh, and they can check and, uh, and see that no one's pushing from there. 
With that, you're going to want to try and get one of your players pushed up uh, so they can get the bomb down. Player four needs to stay in the top bedroom. Essentially, they're just going to be watching the flank, uh, making sure that nobody is pushed all the way through uh, and round the back. So that's a good spot to play. Um, if you do have uh, other players alive in sort of this back region for whatever, maybe the play, uh, maybe the play doesn't go exactly like this. Um, having someone set up at the back here, watching the full flank, is quite good. That means player four can literally just sit in this corner, watch the front, uh, watch the front glass window, and every once in a while uh, jump and check the bombs. So that's quite a nice strat to play as well if you do have two people alive. Um, but where was he? I think he was, yeah, he was down the bottom or planting the bomb. Uh, and so if you can then get one player pushed up through money to sit in the uh, sit in the corner of money uh, and then player three, essentially it's just going to sit on the stairs or something, hold mid, make sure that nobody, uh, make sure nobody can push that. So again, we're sort of going for a, a split um, watch of the bomb site. So you've got players uh, in the top bedroom and in the money room. So uh, they can't really collapse on one and kill you all. Uh, it's going to take them a bit of time and you're going to try to run down, uh, run the clock down as much as you possibly can. And then uh, if you get lucky or, or if you uh, execute the play well, uh, then they should not have enough time to defuse the bomb or you get all the kills. So it's a win-win. Moving on to the defense side of things, um, I think I guess we'll start with the B strat then. Uh, so what we tend to do is uh, you have someone in the top laundry room uh, just watching o watching over B, uh, having one person just play a corner in mid. If they've got a sniper or something long range and they're confident they can challenge it and win it, go for it. Uh, if not, just have them sitting in a corner, watching the push up, uh, see if uh, anyone pushes up this side. Um, or certainly, even if they just play the, the close corner, they can actually really sort of sound whore if anyone's uh, in mid, jumping around, mantling on things. Um, and essentially their job it's just to watch that nothing pushes through kitchen on the flank. Um, and then we tend to send uh, someone on this sort of outside and uh, see if they can actually push up onto this van. This van's quite a uh, power position. Uh, you can get a nice head glitch on there and you can actually watch quite a bit of the uh, the P1 or the, the ring bit there. Uh, so that's quite a good strat. And then player three, um, really it depends on how confident your player one is. If your player one is quite uh, a confident, like maybe he's got a sniper and knows they can hit their shots, then they can play alone. And this player can actually just uh, sit on the head glitch and you have uh, sort of a three set up to B. Or if you want to double challenge mid, maybe they've got an assault rifle and maybe the other uh, enemy team uses a sniper. You want to send two people out to sort of make sure that they can uh, they can pick up that kill. Uh, you can do that as well. Also, if you do send uh, two towards the mid side, that does make it a little bit easier uh, if you don't see anything at B because uh, you can quickly rotate that to uh, to uh, to A either through the uh, the back L wall or uh, or the money room. So that's a nice good setup to get off the start. Uh, if it does go to B, again, you can always have one of these players uh, wrap around and, uh, and help the teammates out at B. And if you do manage to get a few kills on the ring, uh, maybe they, they do a split, they don't send all their players to one side. Again, these players are then in a good position to push through. Now, I would say if the enemy team does get the A bomb down, uh, you're going to have to expect that there is going to be... Oh, that you're going to have to expect that there is someone going to be in the top bedroom. It's the best position to watch A bomb. And if you don't really use it, uh, then you're kind of missing out on a, on a quite easy round because once it's down A and they're in the top bedroom it's going to be quite hard to break that which brings me on to our next track how can you defend the uh, a plant from the A bomb so um, most teams as I said go B it's generally the favoured bomb site to go to most people go there uh, just because actually pushing up to A and getting the initial control of A is a bit harder than it is for B there's not an, there's not as much cover um, so what we do is we send someone uh, with a very a nice fast class maybe with a bruiser grip if you've seen my AK-74U class uh, something with nice uh, movement speed you can actually get set up on the uh, on the rocks um, heady here just before uh, just or just below the jump up uh, to the money room and then you can actually uh, watch the push bottom uh, and top so that's quite a nice little strat to play if you don't want to play that uh, you can actually lay prone in the hut uh, and then you can actually watch or pre-aim the push up to top bedroom. So uh, two good uh, little strats you can play here uh, to watch that. If you want to send one to both, that's probably a good idea as well, uh, just so they can get each other's trades or both get kills if, uh, if there's players that are sent that way. Now, player four's job is also important. If he does get anything here, uh, maybe wrap round and then again play it low, but watch the uh, watch the push down from the the mid side because no one, I guess, would force stack A or not many people. It's not a not a common strat to do to force stack A. You'd normally send a few there or a few mid uh, or maybe a few there and a few B. So uh, being able to make sure that you've got that mid uh, push up is quite important as well. But generally that would be covered or at least be able to called out by someone that you send in kitchen. It's always good to have someone in kitchen watching the mid push again, uh, whether they want to fully challenge it if they've got sniper, Krieg, something long range, or whether they just want to play a close corner and just play the information uh, to just say if a player's pushed down so the player four knows to uh, turn and watch that so yeah it's uh it's really sort of however however um it feels would work best now because b is the primarily gone to bomb site i would never um sort of fully 
um, leave B on its own. I mean, uh, it's, it's kind of hard if they do get like a split set up to actually retake. So having someone uh, push up onto the head glitch or to top laundry or just somewhere that they can get um, a, a sort of eyes on bomb. Now, a good strat um, that they can do is actually if they push up, they can watch out of this side window. So if anyone wraps around the back curve, uh, there is a side window. Let me just move them slightly. There's a side window sort of here uh, and then the main window at the front. If they get at the side window, they can actually watch anything pushing the outer curve. So that's a good spot to play. Uh, and then if they don't see anything, they can sort of rotate, check out the front window. Basically, just make sure that they're not getting the B-bomb down and sort of uh, confirm to the rest of the team that it is, in fact, an A-push. But that's about it for my raid strats. Uh, just got two offense and two defense. If you want to see some more or you've got some more, drop them down in the comment section below and uh, I'll even make a video on them or I'll pin the comment if they're, a, if they're a good strat that I like too. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, be sure to drop a like and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.